Hey guys, um, I am back. This is the second time today and that is like totally unheard of, but I wanted to hop on and um, quickly, I was doing some planning, make a card because you know that DSP sale is on and it's only on for the month of July. And so I wanted to um, just use some of that DSP and um, just bring some of this stuff to your guys' attention. Um, so this is the bloom where you're planted. So I'm just going to move because I already did some prep work. So hello, Casey. So bloom where you're planted is one of the um, DSPs that is on sale. What is fabulous about this DSP? I don't have the stamp set. I don't have the bundle. I have the DSP because it is perfect for fussy cutting. So there's a couple of different things. I've got a couple of cards or projects in the works here. So I'm going to show you. So this paper you can fussy cut and this is what we're using in the card I'm actually going to make. And you can just fussy cut the entire um, potted plant out. So you don't need stamps, you don't need the dyes, you can just do that with the paper. Um, and then on the backs of these paper are also um, amazing. Then what I realized is this other pattern here you can cut out the tops of your plants and here you can cut out the pots and so then you can make whatever plants you want so I just started putting stuff together for different designs I'm going to make so I've got my little pot and then I've chosen which plants I wanted to go in so I've got a couple of pots here and some little cut out leaves um, this is the new vellum the in color vellum and then this is the back of one of these bloom where you're planted pieces so this is going to be a you know beautiful card i'll work on tomorrow and then same thing here i've got pots i've got plants this is the back of this pattern so we've got this really nice brick wall and this is going to be another card i'm going to make tomorrow so those are a couple of things that are going to be in the works hey carol um so i just wanted to kind of bring to your attention that this paper is a fabulous on its own but B, you can do all this fussy cutting and create all these fabulous um, different uh, card fronts without a single stamp set or ink. So I have done, uh, it's a bit of a case from the catalog. So I'll show you the card that was my inspiration. So this card here is my, was my inspiration. Um, you can see it's got the cut out, the fussy cut, um, from the DSP so I've done that and then it's got these layers of cardstock that have been embossed and then a greeting and a bunch of embellishments so you're gonna see, I've done some, I'm, I'm, something a little bit different but a very similar idea so I am using um, shaded summer this stamp set for my greetings I really love the greetings that are in this stamp set and just a little um, teaser this stamp set in the new celebration that is live from August to the end of September two months August September there are dyes as one of the um, items anyway we're gonna use this we're gonna use this greeting and we are going to use the hello Lynn the touches tasteful touches touches of texture oh my god <laughs> uh, tasteful labels dyes this little label is gonna fit over this one. Some friendships are just meant to be. And I thought this was a cute little saying to go with this pair of plants that I have die cut. So let's just get to it. So like I said, I've already die cut these guys, or not die cut, fussy cut. I fussy cut them out of the DSP, okay? And I did that ahead of time because nobody wants to watch me fussy cut these plants. I left a tiny little bit of a border around my edges. You can, you know, we, I've talked about fussy cutting lots. You can either cut right close or you can leave a little bit of an edge. I left a tiny bit of an edge, but I did a very bad job up here. So I'm just gonna fix that. So all these DSPs are those DSPs that are on sale 15% off. So this is one of these ones that's on sale, okay? So I've already die cut, or, oh my God, I've gotta stop saying that. I've already fussy cut those images. And then what I have here is just some pieces of vellum. These are just two pieces that I already have that were sitting in my package. Um, and I am 
ideally I would use a single piece but I don't actually mind what this looks like with there's gonna be this slight little seam in the middle because it kind of reminds me of like one of those folding screens that you might see in someone's living room or something so I kind of actually really like that look so I've got two rectangles here or you could do a single square so they are one and a half by four and three quarters, or you would do a, a rectangle that is three by four and three quarters, okay? And then I have all these strips of paper. So like I said, in the card that I'm casing, they used cardstock that they embossed. I wanted to use more of the DSP. That's the whole point. There's the DSP sale. I wanted to show you the DSP. So I am using this pattern of the DSP. I took a sheet of DSP, I cut it four inches by five inches. And then um, I'm just sort of layering it and having it be offset. So we might trim some to be a little bit shorter, but I think it's a little too bold, which is why then I'm using the vellum, okay? And then I think we might, I haven't decided. We're gonna try stamping the greeting on this and see how that looks. Um, as if it were like a little wood sign that you might find in like a little plant shop or something. I think it could be cute. So we're gonna try that. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward um, because I have done a little bit of the prep work ahead of time, but I've told you what I've done so you could definitely um, recreate it. We're going to get out, I'm just thinking, yes, here it is, my adhesive sheet. Okay, Evening Evergreen, we're using the new Evening Evergreen. Okay, I'm gonna move that aside. I'm gonna put this up here and we are just gonna glue and go. The reason I am using this instead of my seal right now is because it gives me that flexibility to move the pieces around. And uh, I like that flexibility when we're lining up a bunch of things. So I'm gonna have this one, this one I'm actually gonna have more in the middle. And then we're just going to kind of offset from there. And like I said, I wanted to showcase this DSP. It gives us a nice sort of visual um, interest in the back. So now I'm going to sort of put this over to the side. I guess if I was smart, I would kind of lay these out to make sure my spacing is going to be okay. doesn't really matter it's not a science as you can see so for those of you who are joining me now you may or may not know that I did an unboxing of my holiday items earlier today so if you have not checked that out scroll back on my Facebook page and you will see it I was live at 3 30 um, doing my unboxing video of all things holiday so what that means for my local ladies, so Moira and Lynn, um, I have catalogs. There's no rush because you can't order from that until August. I should really be using my lines to make sure these are straight, but okay. My son is about to come down and steal the iPad, which is fine. It just means I'll have to stand up to see your guys' comments. But if all of a sudden my video goes a bit wonky, it's because he's coming to read. He likes to read. There's a, a app or website called Epic that has full of kids' books. Okay, so there we go. Now, we're gonna to have to get a little bit creative here because of course, you can't just stick adhesive all over vellum, you see it. So what we need to do is we're gonna lay these down and then I'm gonna place these, glue them, and then go from there. And I could use dimensionals, I might. These we're gonna to have to make sure are lined up, obviously. I'm gonna to try to use my grid underneath. And then I'm just trying to decide if 
I want dimensionals or not. Now the one in the catalog, they had a little linen thread, which was cute. We could also tie linen all the way around behind it, um, which might then help hold the vellum together, but So we've got the linen, ooh, or actually, here we can use these new twines. Let's see, we could use the crumb cake. Let's see which one we like better. So linen, crumb cake, mm. Gray granite is what's actually in the DSP. So maybe we'll use that. Okay, okay. So uh, again, for any of you who are local or you live in Canada, I am running a paper share during this um, DSP sale. So that information, I sent it out, I believe I sent it out in an email and I also have it on my Facebook page. All right, so we're gonna tie a bow. Twine is one of these things that is tricky because it has a life of its, it has a mind of its own as to how your loops are gonna be. All right, so I think we, I don't think I want these on dimensionals. Although maybe, no, I think I'm gonna do the greeting on dimensionals. Okay, so we're gonna put this guy down and I want to try to stick all the leaves down. So I'm gonna put a bunch of adhesive and then I'm gonna line these up and you're gonna see, I'm gonna put like something at the top here so they don't move. Um, I need something heavy. I'm thinking a stamp pad. Just so they stay still. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to place this on here. And I want to sort of place it so it overlaps again to try to keep those two together. And then I'm trying to think if I might pop this guy up or not. Mm -hmm. Let's see. When I can't decide, what I often do is I like cut the edge off if I have one and lay it behind and then it just lets me kind of see what it would look like I don't know if you guys do this and then I can kind of see do I like it popped up or do I want it flat yeah I like it popped up okay perfect so this will actually be perfect because I'm going to stick I want to have dimensionals throughout this whole thing. Okay. So now I'm going to put this just slightly overlapping a little bit in front. And then I am going to cut a tiny little strip. I'm going to put it on the top there. I don't know if you might not be able to notice, but it's not. It's laying purposely. It is laying flat compared to the rest. That's going to be too big even though. I'm going to cut that in half. Oh, here comes my iPad sealer. It's 
Okay. Okay, I'm gonna let someone take the iPad. Thank you. Alrighty. Okay. So now that we have those on there, we can flip it over and we can see all the places where we can use adhesive. So I'm gonna put this over here and I am going to switch to seal. And so everywhere we have DSP, I am going to put adhesive because we can't really put adhesive anywhere else. We're gonna have the greeting. I guess I could figure out where the greeting's gonna go, but this'll be fine. So we're gonna put this like that. I wasn't sure about the, um, the pattern DSP behind it, but the more I look at it, I really, really like it. I don't know what you guys think. All right, so we're gonna get a glue dot. Wow, I haven't had to stand up and make a card in so long. This is crazy. All right, so we got a little glue dot here. And now we are going to do our greeting. So we're gonna try it first on, I'm gonna put this twine away. We're gonna try it first on the pattern paper and if we don't like it, then we will do it on a piece of cardstock. So I kind of have to be really lined up here. And we're going to stamp in Evening Evergreen. Okay. So let's see. Sorry, I appreciate it. that is not helpful to you guys. I'm in the bottom. So I'm going to come up here. And then, what do you guys think? Do you think it's gonna be okay on that patterned paper or should I be doing it on white paper or vanilla or, let's see. I know I'm off to the side here, I'm just, I'm wondering though, if because I didn't stamp it totally straight on the line, you like it on the wood paper, okay, cool. I should be using my magnetic plate. Okay, there we go. I could be totally using my small cut and emboss and then you guys would see what I'm doing. But because we're just being quick here, I'm just gonna do it like this, off to the side. I know it doesn't make for the best optics, but there it is. Oh, that is cute. Okay, let's bring our card front back in. Let's clean, let's cover that up because that's a recipe waiting, disaster waiting to happen. And then we're gonna put that right there. What do you think? I think it's pretty cute. It's pretty simple and it's just all with this DSP. So, you know, now is the time, the month of July. These DSPs are on sale. You love it. I love that. That's amazing. And then we're just going to get stick this guy right up here. Boom. I love it too. And I guess I should cut this a little because we don't really need twine hanging off of our card. Okay. 
boom, there we have it, my friends. So that was quick. I don't know how long we've been on, but I don't think it's been very long. So thank you for joining me. I feel like it's dark here in my video tonight. I apologize if that's not very bright. Okay, I like to try to do this at the end, bring this in so you can see it, not on the grid paper. So there we are. It's my quick little case of the card and the caddy, all using the DSP. We've stamped on the DSP. We fussy cut from the DSP. We use the DSP as layers behind. And then, like I said, within that DSP, you can cut out the pots and the greenery separate. So tomorrow I'm going to make a card with these little plants that I've, you know, made myself on more of the DSP as a background. So this is the beauty of this DSP. One side is the plants and the other side is like brick walls or the concrete. So it's really very versatile. Okay. Thank you ladies for joining me. Thank you for your feedback and your comments. And uh, if I'm lucky, I'll get on again tomorrow. Have a good night.